Guitar players, what's up? Welcome to TribeMusicStudio.com. I'm Gene. Today we're gonna do um, "Where Did You Sleep Last Night," a song that Nirvana covered. It was written by Huddy Ledbetter, otherwise known as Lead Belly. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, I'm doing this in standard tuning not E flat tuning like Nirvana but standard tuning the chords are E A G and B or B slash F sharp we're going to add that 6th string 2nd fret F sharp note to the B and uh, that's pretty much the chord progression too throughout the whole song it goes from E A G to, uh, uh, to B and over and over and over so we're in the key of E. If you want to do some picking with this or jamming with a friend and you want to play some little uh, leads to it, it's uh, the E major scale. There's seven verses in this song. If you want to make it eight, okay. Rather do five or six, okay. Do your thing. The rhythm pattern for this is down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up. The whole way through. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up. You can count one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. So you either say the down up stuff or you count one two and whichever you like best use what works for you uh, we can simply just strum this What you can do is add alternating bass notes if you like. So I'd be playing the um, open E here, one, two, and three, and or down, down, up, down, up, and then I'm going to alternate to this fifth string second fret, the B. I like to hammer it on. You don't have to. Again, this is up to you. So I'll go, my girl, my girl, and I can put a run in here. Don't lie, to lie to me. Tell me where you sleep last night. So you see, everything's getting a bass note. Um, the E, and then the run comes in. The run is the sixth string open. 6th string 2nd fret, 6th string 4th fret, and the 5th string open, but we also play an A chord at the same time, a power chord. Um, I like that run, but you can also use this run instead, 6th string open, 6th string 2nd fret, 6th string 3rd fret, then into the A. I don't like that one as much, even though I know Nirvana did that one. I like it out of the E uh, major scale here in the fourth instead. I just like that one better. Uh, either one will work though. Uh, you choose the one that you think sounds best and that you like best. That's the one to use. Uh, so that when we went into that A chord and then the G, the G bass note, 6th string, 3rd fret, and the B slash F sharp, that would I pretty much just pound. And then this little 
uh, bend here, which is a sixth string second fret, we're bending that F sharp note a half step to make it sound like we're playing the sixth string third fret, the G. And then release again, back to the F sharp. And going to an E note and strum again. When we're going to do that little bend thing, it's within the B uh, chord, and the B is being strummed. One, two, and three, and one, two, and then you bend and release and come back to the E. It's got to be that timing, that beat to make it fit, to make it work. So you can count it as uh, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. So that too there is, is up to you if you want to put that in, if you want to do that or not. Uh, you, you know, play it the way you like. There's two measures of E, counting one, two, and three M, that's one. One, two, and three M, that's two. Then you go to A for one measure, one, two, and three M. There's your one measure, it switches to G for one measure, one, two, and three M. Now we go to B for two measures, or B slash F sharp for two measures. One, two, and three, and one, two. And there's a little, you know. And then to E after that for four measures. And that counts as one, two, that, that when you get to that open E, it's counted as one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. One, two, and three, and there's your four measures. It goes to A again for one measure. One, two, and three, and G for one measure again. One, two, and three, and and B for two measures again. One, two, and three, and one, two. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. I just finished on E for two measures. That's the whole thing. It just keeps doing all of that over and over as you're singing all of those seven verses or however however many verses you want to do. Uh, let's back out. I'll talk a little bit more and then we'll end this. Okay, so there's also an intro to this song if you want to do it or not. Sometimes I just go right into singing, my girl, my girl, and other times I decide, oh, I feel like doing the intro this time. Okay. Uh, and the intro is the same chord progression as everything else that we've done so far. The E, the A, the G, and the B, and back to the E again. And the outro is the same. So it, that too, if you want to put an outro in or not. It's all up to you. When you play this song, it's no longer Nirvana's. It's no longer Lead Bellies. It's your song. So you play this song what, the way you like to, the way it makes you happy, the way you can play it. Because this is all about having fun and a good time. Uh, you do what works for you. And, and you're right. It's, it, and it's just fine, just like that. Don't let anyone tell you differently. All right, I hope you like this lesson and it helps you. Have a great time. Thank you for being here. Hey, please check out the website, triadmusicstudio.com. Hope to see you again. Bye.